These are called burn squats. They're called burn squats for a reason. So you're going to set yourself up in a sumo squat position. Feet are a little bit high, wider than hip width. If it feels good, you can turn your feet out to the side just a little bit, either parallel or gently turned out. First step is you're going to come down into a 90 degree angle sumo squat. You want your legs at 90 degree angles to the ground. You want to be able to rest a glass of water on that quad. You're going to hold this for a count of 10. After 10 seconds, you're going to bring your hands to your ankles. You're bringing your hands to the ankles so that your arms can tr help track your knees. This will help your knees not collapse in or press out. Hands just gently to your ankles and you're going to bend and extend 15 times. Notice my knees are tracking right along with my arms so that my knees are right in alignment making sure I'm getting down to that 90 degree angle every single time. I'm going to do 15 of those, come down and hold for 10 seconds, do 15 more, come down and hold for 10 seconds, do 15 more, come down and hold for 10 seconds, and then take a break. That's one set. That's great for quad strength, glute strength. That's an excellent exercise to help get you ready for ski season and just to build strength and alignment in your lower body.